Hey, hey, bonjour. Uh, I'm Rachel and Gome, and today we're talking about becoming a client attraction powerhouse. So I wanted to just share a few things with you that can really help you start attracting your ideal client to you. And I said bonjour because we're in Paris when I'm done with this, uh, the content. I might be able to show you, I can see the Eiffel Tower from our hotel room, which is really cool. Um, we're actually just at the very top of it. So fun. Um, okay, so are you struggling to attract your ideal client to you? If you are, there might be a few things that you're doing wrong and a few things that you can do to switch that around. And so there's, I see this all the time with people. This is especially what I used to do. So when I first started my network marketing company, I thought that if I just acted like the best people, like the top producers in our company, the top coach or whatever it was, if I just did what they did, if I posted the same things that they posted, like literally word for word, copy and paste, then I would be successful too, because it was working for them. And success doesn't work that way. <laughs> and it took me a couple of years to really figure out that it wasn't until I was authentically me that I started attracting the right people to me. And this kind of scares some people because they think that in the online space, they need to put on some mask and they need to pretend to be someone who they're not if they want to gain clients. And I'll tell you, that's the worst thing that you could do. If you want to become a client attraction powerhouse, you need to make sure that you are authentic and 100% yourself. So if you're not someone who gets all dolled up and super fancy, and that's what you do when you like do a Facebook Live or put like whatever it is, then people will kind of feel that, you know, it's just kind of like, I don't know what's up about them. And you want people when they meet you in real life to be like, I already know who that is. And so when people meet me and they come to like my live events or their interactive program, and they get to meet me in person. I'm exactly the same person, but you see online, I do the same weird crap. I talk the same. I look the same. I'm never like a hundred percent perfect and proper because that's not me like my hair is usually in a ponytail I'm kind of sweaty right now because I was walking all over Paris and I know that I'm never gonna be perfect and I don't try to be that's the thing you got to make sure think about who are you and how could you show up obviously you don't want to be like a hot mess 100% of the time but how could you just be the best version of yourself and put that out there and so think about it if you're someone who swears and you're you love to say curse words why wouldn't you do that when you're doing Doing everything online you're gonna attract the people who are just like you I don't so I don't do that but I do post faith and scripture and when I do that I attract the kind of people that I enjoy working with and there are some people when I post that they're offended or they unfollow me or unsubscribe me and that's fine and I think a lot of times we're afraid to get those unfollows we're afraid to get those unsubscribes and I want you I want you to think of this analogy think about we're riding in a car and we want to pick up our like best friends and have our best friends in the car with us and those are gonna be our ideal clients and so we're in the car we might have to like not nicely kick a few people out of the car that we just don't jive with they don't get us and they're gonna find someone else they're gonna get another ride hitch another ride with somebody else and we're gonna keep picking up people until we find our like best buds and those are the people that you want to have in the car with you does this make sense okay so i really want you to think i need to be 100 percent myself so i can really attract my ideal client so like at our activate retreat goodness it just like blows my mind how i was able to attract people who are just like me like we're all wine drinking yoga pants wearing just super chill comfortable people and none of us got like really fancy or dressed up to go out to eat which i mean sometimes you might want to but i rarely do um i'm happy in my yoga pants so i really want you to think how can you show up and just be yourself and you might have some competitors that you're following right now and you might not you might be doing this subconsciously you might subconsciously be emulating them and it might be helpful for you to actually unfollow your competition so you can really hone in on your message and be so 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 yourself really uniquely you and I really want you to think people are gonna do business with you because they know you they like you and they trust you and they can't do that if you are wearing a mask and you're not being vulnerable you're not being authentic and you're not being yourself okay so you don't need to be wearing like crazy fancy jewelry whatever if that's not you right so you know it was actually kind of funny we did a launch last year 
And this was, um, so there's never a good time to launch by the way, but we did a launch. I was in my parents' basement because we were in, in the middle of moving to France. I was hiding in the wine cellar because we had kids and dogs upstairs and it was so loud. I just got my eyebrows microbladed. So they were like huge and just like, I was definitely not at my best, but I did it anyways. It ended up being a $50,000 launch. I was able to help so many people and I wasn't worried about being perfect. Okay, so I want you to give yourself permission to, again, take messy action and be yourself. And I, one of my students actually said that was one of the most freeing things is when I told her, be you. And she just showed up in such a different way. So think about who you are and who you want to attract, okay? And the last thing, if you want to become a client attraction powerhouse, is to show up with high energy. And so something that I do before I do like a webinar or something like that is to make sure that I'm showing up again, the best version I can be, which is the highest energy version of myself. So what I typically do is I have like time before that webinar. I don't just like jump on and be like, Hey, I set aside time where I'm listening to music. I'm getting focused and thinking about what is the end result? What do I want people to feel when they're on that webinar? I really get set that intention of what is going to be this outcome. And I literally jump on a trampoline and have a dance party. So when I show up, I have high energy. And so I want you to think when you're going live on Facebook, I literally just ran up five flights of stairs before I got on here. I had to catch my breath a little bit and I was like, Whew, okay, then push live. But I want you to think, how can you show up and have the most energy possible? Cause people can feel that energy. Okay. So just to recap, if you want to become a client attraction powerhouse, be yourself. Okay. Don't try to attract everybody because you're going to end up attracting nobody. So be a hundred percent you and you're going to attract the right kind of people to you. And uh, think about how you can show up with the most energy possible. Okay. And Hey, Marsha Bonjour and Hey, Michelle. Um, did you guys know we have a challenge coming up on July 29th? So our infinite growth challenge is coming up and this is where I'm going to be able to help you 10 X your business by focusing on your own personal growth, your mindset, your habits, your routines, your limiting beliefs, the things that are holding you back and keeping you stuck. That's what we're going to be working on. So go to joingrowthchallenge.com to register. Um, that's coming up soon. Let me see if I can show you the Eiffel tower from here. Uh, uh, hi Renee. Okay. So yesterday was Bastille day. Can you, Oh, there she is. Lady Eiffel. Nope. Nope. Find the right angle. Find the right angle. Nope. Maybe. Ah, there she is. Yesterday it was, um, Bastille day in France, which is like their independence day. So there were fireworks all over the Eiffel tower and it was so cool. So we stayed up kind of late. The boys are taking a nap right now. <laughs> um, but it was so fun. I'll see if I can post a video because it was just awesome. Very, very cool. Okay. So I hope today's uh, content really served you. Make sure you sign up for the challenge. If you found this helpful, make sure to tag a friend, share it with somebody. Um, and I'm going to go for a walk on the Champs Elysees. If you've never been to Paris, there is La Cité en Provence. It's like a skincare beauty place, but they have the best bakery ever. And so we're going to go get some afternoon desserts <laughs> and I'll try and take a picture and share it with you on Instagram. If you're not following me there, just go to she's making an impact on Instagram. You can see kind of behind the scenes of what we're up to. So I hope you have an amazing day. I'll talk to you later.